I posted the quest on the ship's board. I have a good feeling. Ready to set sail! Hunter! He's been waiting for you!
Keeper, you came. That's... Am I seeing things? Keeper, you have come far to meet me here. Keeper? My name is Cassandra. Names change, but this task is eternal. You are the Keeper, she who keeps the great seal closed and the staff of Hermistris Megistus safe. Atlantis. You remember. My name is Alicia. With the staff in your hands, we are now entwined. Entwined? How? I can now present myself to you in a form that you recognize. You must deliver me to the air of memories. Even now, she watches us. When I speak to you, I speak through you to her. So... I'm supposed to hold the staff until this air person takes it from me. What will happen to me? What happens to all of us? Then, she will open the great seal to Atlantis. It longs to be opened. Your task is to be the keeper until that time. Pledge yourself. Where is this air? Not where, but when. She is yet to be, but even still, she is here watching us now. The stuff is mine. I'm not letting this air or anyone else get their hands on it. You can't avoid this forever, Keeper. Pledge yourself to the will of the staff, to the great seal, and to the air of memories. Fine. I pledge to keep the staff until the air of memories, whoever that is, is ready to take it. What did your diagnostic show you? Atlanta's getting the results now. It will take us time to analyze. For now... Kyoshi, you cut out, you there? Another bug. I was saying, for now, try to relax. Air of memories. The great seal awaits you. But 
Toya. Did you hear that? Nothing on our end. What did you hear? Before there was radio static, like we were being jammed. But just now I heard a voice. The same one Cassandra heard in Atlantis. Might be the bleeding effect. Like Kyoshi said, try to relax while Alana works on the results of the diagnostic. Go to the seal, air. The Keeper delivered me to you. Her pledge has been satisfied, and now I am entwined with you. Heir of memories, this is the great seal to Atlantis. It has waited long to meet you. Victoria, Alethea's voice is coming through the staff. Victoria? The interloper can't hear you now. You're scrambling my comms? Focus, Layla. You're not going crazy. You think that memory... If it wasn't an animus malfunction, Cassandra was the keeper holding the staff for... me? And somehow the staff has been equipped for audio transmission and is connected to this seal. These symbols... It almost looks like a locking mechanism. Name these symbols in order, and at long last, the seal will open to the air of memories. Okay, talking stick. But which symbols, and in what order? There must be some way to know. The keeper kept this riddle and more in her mind. Altair 2. I'm going back in the Animus. If the signal gets through and you can monitor my vitals, great. If not... Well, you've earned one free, I told you so. Keeper, our task is to guide the heir of memories to the symbols. A man called Theras knows of their whereabouts. Theras? The guy who helped get Phidias out of Athens? Is that why you've brought me back to this place? Here, the role of the Keeper bound itself to you, though you didn't know it yet. Now, to uncover the truth, we must go to Theras. How will I know this heir of memories when I see her? She will come to you. The end of your journey is in the Hall of Atlantis, where her true journey begins. I don't understand who the Keeper is. The Keeper isn't a person, but a task. And it is yours. Pythagoras held the staff to exploit its power. 
The Keeper's task is to restrain it and protect it from the hands of corruption until the heir of memories appears. Who or what are you? I am Alethea. Pythagoras called my people the ones who came before, but we are the issue. Like you, I invited rebellion into the world, though there were complications. I replicated my consciousness in the staff of Hermistris Megistus, so that I can speak with you and the heir. Theras could be anywhere now. What I know is that he was brought to Serifos, but be careful. He went against his will. I'm going to find Theras. I guess you're coming with me? Our tasks are the same. Layla, come in. Alana, is that you? Two things. Something's been interrupting our comms, which explains why we lost our vitals. Kiyoshi is looking into it. I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's the staff. Nothing sounds crazy to me anymore. Still, I'd like to verify. In other news, your animus is definitely bugging out. Victoria is yelling at her monitors in French, and frankly, I'm not sure what you're doing is safe. You call that yelling? Layla, the Altair 2 is moving into position. We're gonna ask that you come up for air while we take a look at it. I can't do that, Vic. Cassandra's looking for Thetas who might know how to unlock the Great Seal to Atlantis. The what? Layla, I... Thetas was a friend of Pythias. I'll let you know more as soon as I get answers. Layla out. <laughs>
I don't know any more than Phidias did. Please, stop. I want to stop, but I can't. Not until you tell us where you found these symbols in Phidias' workshop. Go check it out. Glad? Once you tell me what I want to know. Immortal, who then is? Και ο δεσπότης της έρχεται τώρα, είναι να εννοήσει τη ΒΥΜ, ερωτώντας άπαντες οτιδήποτε. Better. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. Are you all right? It's nothing compared to what they did to poor Fidias. Did you hear? What do you know about Fidias? Only rumors now. A man in gold came into his workshop, tortured him, broke his hands. His body was too destroyed for a proper burial. All because of these symbols. Symbols? I was exploring the tombs of Agamemnon, Etioclis, and Orion. I'm a traveler like you. I found the symbols and etched them onto parchment to give to Phidias as a gift. You need to find somewhere safe, Thiras. You can sail with us on the Adrestia. I would be forever in your debt. Take this map. It's rough, but it's the best I could do. Here, Eagle Bearer, and thank you.
θα στιμάσουν οι δημόσιοι. Αναβιβάσαντο το δάνεισμα, επί δεύτερον δεν είναι το Let's go! awaits the heir. In this tomb, the heir of memories will see how life grows from a dead place. Life growing from a tomb? If I hadn't seen the staff work, I wouldn't believe it. The heir's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What would you tell them? I would hold them and tell them to be strong and that we will be together again. Remember that answer and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alithia. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. The next stop is the Tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get there when I'm back. <laughs> Layla to the Altair too. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which is used to open the Great Seal to Atlantis? Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? I'll let you know, once I find one. Guess I'm taking your word for it. Be careful in there. Locked. There must be another way.
Layla to the Altair too. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI or some other kind of consciousness is in the staff, which is used to open the Great Seal to Atlantis? Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? I'll let you know, once I find one. Guess I'm taking your word for it. Be careful in there. Raider was poisoned. The first symbol is near. I'm on the ceiling. How do I get up there? The first of three. You've done well, Air. It almost looks like a constellation. Layla, all of our readings are being jammed. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. But there's still two more to uncover. I'm going back into the Animus. There have been too many bugs, Layla. We need to stop and figure out what's happening. We'll stop once I've opened the seal. Layla out.
Ella. Come on. Let's go. Found Etiocles' tomb. Well done, Keeper. Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? I suppose she would. No? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Vimos will. Vimos? How? The heir will know when the time comes. Altair 2? I've. Or Cassandra's found the next location. Great work. Where to? 
The tomb of a tail, please. I think I found a way in. Altair 2, found my way in. <laughs> I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this, if assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the Animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. <laughs> Strange. I thought floor spikes were a Persian thing. the king of Thebes. I still can't believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Well preserved. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. These statues are in perfect condition. Those who paid homage here did so with their lives. The second symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean Vic? Or someone else? The second symbol! Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. 
Altair 2, can you read me? The interloper can hear us. The interloper? Who? Layla, we hear you, but you're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did. And Cassandra knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm going to dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff? The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please. Move!
Es Alicia. Wait. Alicia? You've discovered Agamemnon's tomb. A place where the heir of memories will find the symbol she seeks. So, what now? Now is relative. With this information, will the heir open her eyes and unlock the symbol? She will now. So, do I just... wait here or something? Our task is already complete. What comes next, she must do on her own. I'm ready to meet the heir now. When will I? Your understanding. What you do not know is that while you are yet to meet her, she already knows you very well. So, what do I do with the stuff? Keep it and let it keep you. The Keeper's task is to never succumb to death. All those you will ever know and all you will ever love will die. Then you will learn to love again, and those will die too, but you will remain. This was easy enough. Altair 2, I have our next location. Well done. Where to? Agamemnon's tomb in Argolis. Altair 2, can you read me? We hear you. Layla, there's something you need to know. The interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It isn't Isu. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. You could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis and I'll figure something out. What a find! What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I'll say is prepare to be amazed when I get back. There must be some way over this thing. symbol. If the Keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols, her brother will. plates on the floor. I should be careful.
final symbol. Another part of a constellation. They must fit together. Alter 2, can you read me? Okay, Layla, think this through. Outside the tomb of Ateocles, Alethea said Deimos would show me what the Keeper can't. But Theas had answers Theras didn't and was killed for it. The air is wise. Altair 2, come in, please. Layla, that you? Did you find the symbol? Three for three. We need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Cassandra knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alethea thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have his DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you're on my side or not. No, 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 maybe a little more, uh, yeah, there you are. Are you Brisson? Son? The symbols talk. Itira, Korgath, Metin. What does that mean? Itira, Korgath, Metin. All right. Let's do this the hard way. Your heart rate's accelerated, and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. Uh, What's happening? Uh, 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 Itira! Korgath! Metin! That's all I know! You have to believe me! I can't! I don't want to do this! Oh. <laughs> Itira! Korgath! Metin! That's all I know! You have to believe me! I'm not here to hurt you, Phidias. We're friends. I just want to know where these symbols come from. You would tell your friend, wouldn't you? Tira! Gorgath! Metin! Are you trying to anger your friend?
Layla, get your shit together! Layla, you're not safe! We have to get you out of there! No! no! Uh, don't be afraid. We all die. But first... Tell me what I want to know. Itira! Korga! Metin! Itira! Korga! Metin! Itira! Korga! Metin! Layla, we're remote ending your session! Tira, Gorgath, Medi. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos's mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2. Vic, anyone. Can you hear me? The Great Seal has waited long enough. I'm... I can't. I've seen inside Deimos' mind. I... I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. The trials of the air are just beginning. You're right. I can do this. Yours is a role of strength and resilience. Now, the air must call the name of the first symbol. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name said by Phidias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now, call out the name of the second. It was this symbol, and the second name said by Phidias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. I remember! Fidia somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. He saved us. It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. Atlantis has waited this long, it can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, I'll tell you your two is going dark. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. 
good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him, resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Altoberg himself. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Also heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Absurgo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then, here we go. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla? It was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans. Can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Cassandra finds power to fuel both her and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first Civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bonne chance.
the blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutek I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. This place... Did Pythagoras know it existed? No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. You told me this room was meant for the Heir of Memories. But I got in so easily. You paid for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mater always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The Underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the Underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. No going back now. I have to trust her. Thank <laughs> you. 
You don't belong here. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's come into her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium. Resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and the staff talks... It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Negati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise. But we all have our secrets. 
I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Agathe. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Maybe I should investigate the Fkalion's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? What can you tell me about my stuff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Here. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos' faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Herbis. Go. Enjoy them.
The wings of Hermes. Could this be it? You know I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. If you're so miserable, why not just leave? I've tried. If Persephone wants you to stay, dead or alive, you stay. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adam, is at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? I hear Persephone has everyone in Elysium on a leash. I want to cut them free. <laughs> of all the lies in the underworld, that's the best one I've heard yet. No one cares about the dead. Try again. I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? She wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters, one of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. Tell me about the overseers. Persephone's most trusted and deadly servants. They are the eyes and ears of Elysium. Killing them will leave the queen blind and deaf. Torches of Hypnos? Constructed by the god of slumber, these devices keep human minds under Persephone's control. 
destroy their centers to extinguish their flames. I don't like the sound of Colossi. The Colossi are best left asleep. They protect the overseers. Bloodshed wakes them, and they do not like being woken. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. Careful not to get spotted.
Come on. Trust me now. You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. I didn't take you for a poet. She brings it out in me. I bet you I could inspire a verse or two. You sound like Persephone. Always trying to make me forget Aphrodite. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Iapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> and we're going to need all the help we can get. About time I go meet the infamous Persephone.
Let's go. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. Thank you, uh, your majesty. A simple Persephone will do just fine in my realm. Formalities are for the boring. Isn't that what they say? So, Elysium belongs to you? After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Roth can attest. Usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Cassandra. Then I give you my official welcome, Cassandra. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. 
I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No, someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. The Hades? I'll take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me. But what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Aspodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. That looks like a good place for a horse to take shelter. Yeah! 
Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He's just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. Said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. She's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. All right, you can keep him. But it's a risk. You could be caught. A risk I'm willing to take. Oh, Orphe, when we're safe, we shall ride together in the fields.
Dead. <laughs> Come on. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him. And took him to your stable boy, like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you've saved me. 
You've earned my favor. Better pay that stable boy a visit to cover my tracks. You must be the jockey of Artemision. Nice horses. I keep them clean and pretty, just like Elysium. I tended horses in my old life, too. Then you're just the boy I need to talk to. I have a favor to ask. What favor? If Persephone or any of her people ask, I need you to tell them that I brought a big, scary horse to you. A scary horse? We don't have those here. Then you'll have to pretend. There is Drachmi for you if you do. You're silly. We don't need Drachmi in Elysium. You're sure you're from around here? Of course, I knew that. No matter what, you need to do what I say. Why do you want me to lie? Because if you don't, I'll make sure all of your horses get out of their pens and run away to Tartarus. Understand? Tell them I was here. Fine. Just leave my horses alone. Thank you. 